Hello my friends, this is Captain Alex again. In the next few episodes we will explain you everything about compasses. The basic principles of work of gyro compass and magnetic compass, basic construction of magnetic compass and gyro, and the errors, compass errors, and correction of magnetic compass and gyro compass. You will be surprised by this toy in my hand to demonstrate the principle of gyro compass. Same as bicycle, for example, or any another flywheel. As fast as it is revolving, as much force you will feel trying to change the direction of revolving of this small toy. But can you imagine much bigger flywheel, much heavier and much faster revolving? Much, much faster revolving. If you will have enough heavy flywheel with the speed of revolving of about thousands of revolutions per minute, the wheel will try to turn itself to the north. Of course, the construction of gyro compass is much, much more sophisticated than this spinner. But anyway, learning the construction of gyro compass is not our task today. Today we will talk about errors. About errors and how to determine this and how to make a correction of gyro compass. Please know that some methods of correction of gyro compass could be applied also to magnetic compass. But also magnetic compass readings could be corrected by calculation on the paper and data could be taken from the charts, which we will talk about in the next episode. So let's talk about the errors of gyro compass. There are several methods to do it. First method is to compare, simply to compare with the other gyro compass, which error is known. The other method is using stops. This is quite a sophisticated method, the only what I can say to you, this is better to use our home stars, the sun, during sunrise or sunset. It's much simpler, but anyway, it is quite a sophisticated method which needs a lot of calculations. What about simple methods? We can do know the error of the compass by taking a bearing for the remote landmark. And the last method is to use the leading line, or range line. Okay, let's talk about comparing the readings of your gyro compass with the other gyro compass. It's much better if you have on board two gyro compasses, of course, but if not, you can compare with the gyro compass of your friend or colleague on another ship. And of course, it is much better if these two ships, your and your friend's ship, will be alongside in the same pile, just to, to be sure that they are shown the same course. Of course, you can take bearing on the same object and then compare two bearings and then you will know the error of your gyro compass. Well, detecting compass error by remote landmark. It's better to do it when the ship is alongside. But anyway, imagine that your ship is somewhere at the mooring buoy, somewhere here, for example. It's also a fixed position and uh, you can take your... you can detect your compass error. What is remote landmark? For example, you can see here one light, another light, but the distance is less than half a mile, as you can see in this chart. So, the remote landmark for this particular case should be somewhere here. At least more than one mile. In this case, you just taking a bearing of this remote landmark. I presume you already taken a bearing, actual bearing, visual bearing. So you have just to, to, to measure the bearing, the true bearing on the chart. Do it with a parallel ruler and protractor. Your position is here, the light is here and measure your bearing like this so your true bearing is 
11 degrees. Remember that the true bearing is equal to your compass bearing and error, compass error. And the last method of de detecting of compass error is leading line. You see here the leading line and on the chart is written the true bearing of this leading line. So the only you have to do just to check the moment when you are crossing this leading line and take a measurement of your bearing, visual bearing on this leading line. When, of course, when the both lights are in line. So you have the leading line taken, in fact, by visual bearing, and you have leading line on the chart. So compare it and you have uh, your compass error. This is all for today. Of course, I wish you safe navigation and easy day ahead. Special thanks to the Whale Recruitment website for the opportunity to make this video. WhaleRecruitment.com This is the best job portal for the seafarers if you want to, to find the job easily. Just upload your application to the WhaleRecruitment.com